Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movie review. I'm going to make this short and sweet. <laughs> if you are looking for something to do when you are bored, do literally anything else. I promise you it will be a better use of your time than this movie. Now, if that's all you came in here for and you want to score, 0. 0.2 out of 10. 0. 0.2 out of 10. Okay? And if you want me to explain, and here here we go. You're, if you're here, you're, you're in it, you're strapped in. So, here we go. You might be wondering, Monster, what did you expect? from a horror movie slasher based on Winnie the Pooh. Like, you knew it was going to be bad. Yes. I, yes, it, it's bad, but it's, like, really bad. Like, really, it's amazing how bad it is. This isn't something I could be like, oh, you know, somebody might enjoy it. You have to be, like, a real niche Winnie the Pooh collector to possibly really like this movie like it is tough to like this movie why is that well first the plot non-existent throw it out the window because they certainly did like this it does not it doesn't even know what its plot is you have Winnie the Pooh and Piglet because the rest are asleep and one is no longer with us because Christopher Robin grew up and could no longer feed them because he wasn't there. So they got so hungry, they ate Eeyore. Let me let me say that again. The bear, rabbit, owl, piglet, uh, tiger, they, whoever else, they got so hungry. These forest animals. Some of them being herbivores, insectivores, and one that, you know, we know enjoys honey. Couldn't find anything to eat besides the stuffed animal. Eeyore was the stuffed animal amongst them, right? So tell me how that made sense to eat Eeyore out of all of them. But okay, go off, I guess. Uh, maybe it's because he's the only one that probably didn't need to eat. Who knows, plot, point, whatever. So they're returning to their animal roots of making sure that things in the forest are hunted. But they're not doing it in a very animal way. No. Winnie the Pooh and Piglet have put on overalls, their best pair of Tims, and have learned how to drive. How? Who knows? In a location that is definitely getting great property value outside of the missing reports in the area. Like, they have kept up with the home, and they're doing great for themselves. They probably have insurance at this point. I would not be surprised if they got tax deductibles and had to go file. But what does that have to do with anything? Great question, because who knows? Even the protagonist doesn't really have a great plot. Now, you might be asking yourself if you haven't seen the movie, well, did Christopher Robin ever need a plot? Ha, huh, surprise. Christopher Robin, not really your protagonist. No, nope. Have you expected to see a lot of Christopher? Throw that out, too. No. Oh, so we have an original protagonist? Christopher Robin is there, but you also have an original protagonist. Why? Who knows, okay? So, here's spoilers in the movie. I'll try not to spoil everything, so there's something for you. But, I'm not going to hold back so I can save you some time. Christopher Robin brings his significant other to where he used to play with everybody. And sometimes kind of like pops off, even though she didn't deserve it. And I don't mean like pop off like, oh, you're, uh, but it's just very weird. They're already out here in the forest. He's like, you don't believe me. You think I'm crazy. I, like, while they're walking. And she's like, I, 
think that you had an active imagination as a kid, and that's okay. Like, clearly a very supportive partner. But here we are, where he's getting frustrated that she doesn't just believe that they were talking animals, but whatever. And then, after a woody woo in the forest, you, you know, take off to find the location of where they all used to play. And it turns out that they want to play some different games, okay? Just just poo and piglet because the rest are asleep and, you know, whatever. Pooh and Piglet just drop his wife, and Christopher Robin does, like, nothing to help the situation besides, yo, stop, why are you doing this? If you have a partner like Christopher Robin, I implore you to reconsider slightly, you know, I'm not saying, like, do anything drastic right now because of this review, but, you know, just think about it. Would they help you if a person in a Pooh mask was trying to take you out of this world, would they help you? Just just think about that. Because if you have Christopher Robin right now, maybe reconsider, because he does nothing. And then after that, we go to our new main protagonist, who is in the forest of bad situations with, you know, at this Airbnb that has tons of warnings of people going missing because of her therapist. And I don't even, that is not a joke. The main protagonist had something weird happen with a stalker creep. And the therapist is like, you should get out. So naturally, we get our friends to go to the worst location to get out possibly. Like, just the complete worst one. Yeah, that that's, yep. Yeah. Why, what's the tie-in there? I'll tell you when they finally reveal it, and I've seen the movie. They don't. That's that's just why, okay? Then, let's talk about the friends that she's brought with her. You have a lesbian couple that, you know, they're doing their own thing, but still just weird writing, because... There's, like, I'm not saying there has to be chemistry with every couple just, like, oozing out the, like, noodles, but what what is what is the dialogue between them? And it's not even like, oh, they're going through trouble with their issues. It's just the weirdest new relationship you've probably ever seen. Yeah, maybe not the weirdest, but hey, it's on track. And then you have nerd girl who is just girl who is nerd. And you also have friend who is Instagram star only cooling appliances creator, maybe. Who knows? Because you need to still do slasher movie rules in this film that is taking itself completely seriously. You would think that there would be acknowledgement of how ridiculous this is to some extent. But no, this 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 isn't. It is completely trying to be serious by doing very horror movie things and not in ridiculous manners. It's very dry. This is what it is. This is a slasher film. Like the, you don't hear like if if like just imagine right. You heard Winnie the Pooh horror movie, and Winnie the Pooh unalive somebody. Shout out to YouTube. And he's just like, you just got blazed. Like, would you chuckle a little bit because of how bad it is? Maybe. Or you might even cringe, but that's still a better reaction than just Winnie the Pooh straight up torturing people and having Vietnam flashbacks because Christopher Robin didn't feed them and they ate a stuffed animal. I don't know. I don't know. But... In all the bad, there is some good. The ways that people leave this world, I enjoyed some of them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I did enjoy some of them, but it still doesn't. Just because they're enjoyable, it still doesn't justify guy and Winnie the Pooh mask. I'm sorry, Winnie the Pooh. Right, right, right. And overalls and Tim's 
learning how to drive. It, it, I can't forgive that absolute sin. And some of the cinematography was, I was impressed. As somebody that makes videos, I'm just like, man, that is 4K HD. Like, that is dope. But also, I feel severely misplaced. Like, these characters are supposed to be rugged in nature. But this feels very... If you wanted to make a documentary about Niagara Falls or the beauty of a forest type of situation, like, I feel like it was different. And you might go, like, aren't good shots just good shots? Yes and no. Like, again, it doesn't feel in film. Like, certain movies, you go, oh, this is well shot, but, like, there's a little bit of grain on the filter to, like set the tone of everything like no it's just straight up good shots of things like a patio fire and things like that like why why is that there i don't know uh but hey and that brings me to the last one the set design it looks really good like for some odd reason winnie the pooh and piglet have been doing a fantastic job of keeping up with the place but why <laughs> they're supposed to be Feral and doing all of that. Why does it look like they are getting great value if they ever decide to sell their home outside of the disappearances that they are causing? Like, why, why can this house in set retail for so high? I don't know. So yeah, those are the goods. But are they good when it's within this film? Who knows? Who knows? And to come back to the plot, because I promise you this is how the movie feels, Christopher Robin returns! Oh, surprise! He, he returns. But he still doesn't have that significant of a role in this movie. And we even end the movie seeing Christopher Robin as opposed to our protagonists and friends who were trying to have a girl's trip one terrible weekend. And that's the movie. And you might be wondering if I told you anything in, about this film and why this is so bad that you shouldn't watch it. That's that's exactly the film. There, you're, you're welcome. If, if you say thanks for nothing, Monster, you are welcome because that that's this film. So, yeah, um, if you haven't seen it, and you have literally anything better to do, do that. And if you have seen it, you know, and you've as somewhat enjoyed it, or if you didn't, let me know. Let, let me know in the comments down below. So, yeah. If you like the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, peace out, my monstrosities.